ourselves. We know. Uh, but we want to welcome. All right. Yeah. Now, now that I'm, yeah, I'm done being sad. I'm done talking about my dog. We're not sad. We're not sad here. There's no crying in baseball. I'm going to put my fucking baseball. shoes in these. I'm going to put my feet in these fucking spurred shoes and I'm ready to go. All right. Oops. Everybody ready? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, let, me go, let me go ahead and start my recording. Oh, I'm going to. Fucking cat's getting in the bag again. <laughs> in the bag, Nebby. I mean, that's what cats Stupid do. cats. <laughs> you should. I love uh, cats. Don't worry about it, my man. I feel it. And I have a There's like three cats that. running around this apartment right now, so. Do you just. Are you just on a farm? <laughs> what? There's so many pets. I used to have like two dogs. Uh, oh, fuck. My, it it, it was like two dogs, a cat, no, two cats, sorry, a lizard, three rats. Um, too many. That's too many. No, it's not. Too many rats. <laughs> too many, many rats. rats. <laughs> no. Every Thursday is rat day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is leg day. Leg day no, it's Tuesday, rat Tuesday, day. Tuesday, thighs, calves, all the way. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes, bitch. Got all right, well, I'm ready to play D&D. &D. Let me yeah, do my cowboy. Right. Every day is rat day, though. Close my door. Ready to be my, my chili monk. <sighs> Chonk, if you will. The chonk. chili... The chunk, you might say. <laughs> Some may if, call the chunk. If my voice is a little uh, suboptimal, I'm <clears throat> the slightest bit under the weather currently. No worries, bro. Yeah. So, Could you just make your mic so. or audio a little louder? I can do that, yes. Fabulous. <clears throat> is this better? That Holy is much shit, better. my ears. <laughs> Coming soon to IMAX. <laughs> is this preferable? Yeah, yeah th no, that's good. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm chill. I can also, also turn um, it down. Also, I noticed on the recording, uh, this is only on my own end, and it's something I do kind of subconsciously. I have a tendency to all of a sudden speak incredibly fast to the point where I feel like I can't even, I cannot even understand myself. <laughs> so if no that worries, happens, man. no, someone feel free to give me a little shake and be, and just let me know because I got you, fam. All right. Hi, hi, Kevin. All right, here we All go. All right, we're ready. With the summary from last session. Previous all found what appeared to be a library. And in this library, you found a book. And upon pulling that book, it opened into a dark room. And that's where we pick up off. In this... Okay, so Mayron's back. <laughs> Mayron never you... left. Mayron never <laughs> left. Okay. He's well, been chilling well, out in a library. <laughs> what are you talking May about? Mayron's consciousness is back. <laughs> He's not I've, on idle pilot anymore. Did we? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I was so. Uh, am I, I had so, is Mayron like showing up after finding like a book or something? Because I, I'm assuming that he did stay back and look over some of the books. I am mm -hmm. just crouching in the corner right now. <laughs> Stop shitting your pants, Marin. God. You know, I just like, I just like walk up behind everybody. Hello, I found books. I, I know we were looking for books. I found books. Found book. I shitted. We went from the, li um, the smaller library to a bigger library. Basically. DM, did yeah. we open? So when I when I pulled. The book last time it opened up to a cavern, you said? Yes, when you pulled the book, it opened up to a dark room. And I shall talk. Okay. <laughs> I will turn back to everybody and just go, um, I touched it and it um opened. <laughs> Congratulations. So, let's go, let's go, let's see. <laughs> one step closer to our goal. That's not the intended use of books, I don't think. <laughs> It is when someone wants to have some. I toss the book to Maureen. Marin. I toss the book to Marin. Uh, I can probably catch that. I can't, I, do I catch that? Do I need to make a roll for that? No, I just catch that, don't I? Make a roll for it anyway. Yeah, roll for nerdy stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Roll, roll for, for dexterity. Roll Dex for nerdletics. Roll. That is a. That is an eight. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Whoops. You lose your grip on the book, and it mainly just lands on top of your face. 
Oh, fuck. oh, I, oh! I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it, you're all right. I uh, never been good at catching things. Um, I'm so, a little off my game too. So, grab that and, uh, but the bookworm being bad at catching isn't what surprises me. It was Mr. Metalom over there just cracking a laugh. Anyone else find that a little off-putting? <laughs> oh. You laugh. Well, to be fair, most of the situation could be considered out off-putting. Let's move on, I mean, shall we? And he's gonna pull his bandana back up over his face. <laughs> All well, right. He don't want anybody to he see. He ain't hiding small. from this. <laughs> All right. Inside, you find a pitch black small room, and there doesn't really appear to be anything inside. The air is stale, indicating the room hasn't been opened in a very long time. Roll for perception. Everyone roll for perception? Nope. Rina. <laughs> Rina. Rina. Ah, I got a two. <laughs> that is a 17. Uh, that is a 19. Oh, fuck. These rolls. It's not <laughs> kind to me today. It's a 21 for oh, me. Oh, damn. That is a, no, Brynja can take your time. Uh, that is a motherfucking six. <laughs> <laughs> you did better than me. I got Nico? Yukio? <sighs> Oh, you can roll the 19. All right. So Tallulah and Mayrin don't seem to notice anything. But the rest of you, the rest of you um, are pulling along the wall. And Brynja, you notice that there's um, a brick and it's slightly different from the other bricks. The other bricks are more rusty not not they're harder to the touch but this one it feels smoother what do you want to do i want to touch it <laughs> i want like i want to touch it <laughs> fuck <laughs> this is how you get cursed again yeah. <laughs> all right are you going to push the brick or anything to it i'm gonna i wanna is it like one or two is it like a, just a singular brick it's a single brick i'm gonna I'm Brittany's gonna punch it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, 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 use your broomstick. Uh, um. And I'm just gonna take three, maybe four steps back. Um, I'm going to follow him. <laughs> Tallulah's really excited to see but, what happens. So she's kind of right next to Brittany. <laughs> I just want to. I'm not okay. And she takes her broomstick and pushes against it. When. The brick, it's pushed back, and once that happens, you hear, like, a ch ch chicking noise, sort of like, um, gears turning against one another, and all of a sudden, a lever pulls out, pops out of nowhere in an upwards position. <gasps> Ooh, okay. There appears I'm to be a keyhole for it. <sighs> did anybody take a certain key from the study? I did. I took the key. You notice that it's an exact fit. I pull up the key and I just go, Hey, guys, look, it's like... And then I just, I put it in. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. So, who else here has lived a good life? <laughs> it was good knowing you all. <laughs> it was short. All right. Until it turns around. Right. around and, like, waves her hand as if she's saying, Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cute, though. <laughs> as, as the key goes in and the lever is pulled down, you hear another sudden click, and then the floor drops beneath you all. Oh. <laughs> We're back to square one, guys. Like, I see all I pi all I picture is me and Marin do the Scooby Doo do the yeah, lever thing where the floor Doo falls Marin. out. <laughs> we kind of just grab each other in midair and just. <laughs> 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 no, That's I'm, perfect. I'm I'm absolutely picturing a like wily coyote just just just, just running off of the just <laughs> running off the cliff and be like pulls out the sign. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way that Brynja, with how high her dexterity is, could jump bef like before the floor falls out? Nope. You guys hey, got it. <laughs> just a straight <laughs> nope. Just a good. Hey, tried. That's fair. It's Sorry, a gamers. fast floor drop. 
You gave yeah. us a good That's old a good college movie. try, Brynja. <laughs> can I, if I can wet, can I, is, how big is the, the is hole? Um, it's the entire floor, basically. It's oh, so I couldn't wedge my broomstick? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. And Damn it! So, <laughs> you guys fall down, and you find yourself in what appears to be a bedroom. I'm so glad I didn't cast Feather Fall because how I far is the fall? Is it like did, yeah? How far is the fall? Did uh, you get hurt? It's a good bit. I'd say about maybe 15 feet. Oh, oh fuck. That's not I'm too gonna bad. break my ankle. <laughs> You're gonna break. Oh, okay. Guess yeah, I'll just die then. Wait, just I'll... for entertainment purposes, roll for dexterity. I want to. I'm a... Brittany's gonna do a three point landing. Oh fuck. I have a decent Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. I don't need a modifier for Nat 20. Is it a dex save? Yes, dex save, bro. It's an 11. Got a Nat 20, okay. bitches! Oh Nine. my Nine. god. That they didn't have that they didn't have that. Six. Um It was two straight decks, right? Yes. Uh a dirty 20. Ooh, I've got a six. Dirty. Wait, are we doing a it's a straight dex or a dex save? Uh dex save, my bad. I got confused. Okay, it was uh oh shoot. Twenty one. Alright. Alright. I got an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Marin. Nice knowing you, bud. It's not Marin's day. I don't know what to tell you, man. You Kia, what did you get? Hey, Tallulah's doing even worse. What'd you get, Yukio? Got nineteen. Oh, oh yeah! Damn, so man, you, fucking so just, just Yukio's cool is gonna propel into his campaign without him saying a word, and we're just gonna be here dying as he's in the background just observing. When I when I land, I want to do like a three point land, and I want to look at Yukio and just kind of like nod. All right, <laughs> silent <laughs> solidarity. I, I I would like to land on top of Marin oh, oh, my. as I rolled higher than him. All right, Maybe. well. Um, Since I got a nat 20, can I land on top of both of them and be uh, fine? By that logic, Tallulah would be at the bottom. <laughs> Rest in piss. What did Tallulah That kid's roll? dying today. Crunch. <laughs> All right. Oh, all right, here we go. Hang on, really quick. So. Paint me a word picture. <laughs> here we are. Tallulah. <laughs> you and Aaron are out of luck. You, Tallulah lands right on her butt. And before she can even get up, Mayrin falls right on top of her. Both back on does? the ground. That kid's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, pardon, who who fell on top of him? Mayrin fell on top of Tallulah. I that is a grown ass man. <laughs> I have my pencil out and I'm ready to change the hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> After that. He's a spiky boy too. Oh After fuck, you're dead, dude. You're just dead. I hope you have a backup character sheet. <laughs> After that, we have, character. after that, we have Slim landing on top of Mayrin's legs. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, who landed on top of his leg? Slim. I'm about to suffocate. You did. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Tallulah's gonna suffocate. <laughs> Bye. Slim, you <laughs> both get off my legs. We have Jack doing a very graceful flip and landing right next to Slim while ac accidentally whacking him in the face. <laughs> and then you have you have Yukio and Rinya doing very graceful lands on the beds. Oh, of course they get the fucking beds. I'm mad. <laughs> so then nod at nod at Yukio and just go like, "Wow, that was really cool. You did like a really cool job." So yeah, Tulula's kind of cool. squeaking in pain. <laughs> Like, it's outdated, but I can only imagine Mayron doing the fucking family guy. Ah! Ah! Like, it's, yeah, out, it's dated, but it makes, it fits so well. I was thinking the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I, I, can, I can see at least one of these various characters doing the goat scream. Yeah. Jesus fuck. Um... Thalen's gonna go ahead and uh, get off of the stockpile of people that he has collected beneath his feet. Okay. Um, and uh, he is going to take, with his metal arm, uh, Slim, pick him up, put him on his feet. With his other arm, Marin, pick him up his feet. 
And then he's going to reach down and grab Tallulah under the arms and like set her on her feet and make sure she's okay. You doing all right? Sorry about, sorry about the landing. <laughs> oh, hush now, hush now. You didn't ask how I was. Yeah, hey, you're fine. You well, okay, little Marin, lady? Marin, ha. Um, how, are you, how are you feeling? <laughs> it's funny you ask, Slim. I'm in excruciating agony. <laughs> well, that's great. How is everyone else doing? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> well, if well, well, if it's any consolation, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> just fucking you, Gil. I'm doing I'm fine. I'm happy for you, Slim. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> oh, why well, thank Yeah, rub some dirt in it. You'll be fine. All right. As, as, as I start casting precipitation on my on my suit, just, you know, <laughs> cleaning myself off. Yeah, Thalen's just going to brush off his shoulders and be done with it. Oh, Brittany's going to brush off nothing because she... Dropped perfectly down and Mayron's gonna brush off his acrobat. open wound fracture. <laughs> <laughs> little spit shine, you know. <laughs> like I said, rub some dirt in it, you'll be fine. Oh, I'm I'll doing just okay. fine. I'll be okay. To Tallulah loudly squeaks as she's stumbling around with her eyes highly diluted. Just, <laughs> diluted? Just <laughs> about to do you mean watery dilated? eyes? Do you mean dilated? I always say that. I always ask <laughs> She landed on the meth needle. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, hey, what's the, that back. What's <laughs> the <laughs> light situation like in here? Alright. Are you all, sorry, sorry, you all alive now? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Just one more thing. Phelan's gonna, like, pick Tallulah up like he would with a small child and, like, try <gasps> to get her to stop crying. Oh. Aww. Aww. Listen, he's, he good. has kids. He has a kid. He's done this before. Aaron's okay with this. Him. He's gonna go quiet now and just kind of... Oh. He clings on to him. <laughs> What's the light situation like? Alright, here we go. Um, it has a small lamp on the far end. It already seems to be lit, but it's still a rather dim room. But looking around, you guys notice that there is a single large bed and a small nightstand. There's really no other furniture. But if I were you, Brynja and Yukio, I might want to get off the bed. Uh, anybody looking to take a nap? Uh, that's really comfy. Well, as you're getting comfy, you notice there's a no. weight on the bed. <laughs> it's a fucking mimic. I'm calling it now. It's a fucking oh, mimic. God. Wait, Not let her, let her go, let her go, let her go. Not quite. Whatever. On the bed is a skeleton, presumably of a woman. She's in a gorgeous nightdress while oh. clutching a tuning fork and a note. Wait a minute. Was this? Does this look like? A Galatine's version of the woman for the painting that originally touched out, went out and touched Brynia? Yep. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Um, Brynia's gonna reach down and grab oh, it. Hold on one uh, second, no, little uh, lady. Could I... This is gonna stop her. Oh, no, I don't... Brynia, okay. Brynia, okay. Brynia's the... You might want to be very careful. Brynia's I was about to say... Here. Hold on a minute, you know. Okay, yeah. Looks like the lady from the painting. Putting two and two together here, maybe she should be the one to touch that. Yeah. I mean, I can't get any more cursed, can I? I mean, you <laughs> well, could, that's but not let's hope really that how curses happen. work. Those sound like really good, famous last. <laughs> Can you sense anything from the skeleton? Like anything malicious or anything like that? Is the ghost around? Does anyone have detect magic? I'm a fighter, so no. Let me see my spell. It's, it's on my phone. I'm a fucking idiot. I, I, yeah, I was gonna do. Uh, I was just gonna go check for traps around the uh, the bed. Because right now Yuki is uh, still kind of like tracking this ghost. Is Yuki a blood hunter? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because I played like three blood hunters before. Thalen was really a blood hunter. I'm like, bitch. I can I see you. I can feel the sweat dripping down his brow. <laughs> no. really, I, really, I thought I was just married. <laughs> no, that's the oh, spell. Wow. <laughs> this is where the magic comes in. Oh. Sorry, DM. Sorry, we're a little rowdy today. Yeah, Wait, by are. the time 
this session is put out, I want a picture of Slim and Mayrin hugging each other as they fall down the hole. I can do that! I can do that! Please. I will do that for you. I, I, I need to draw, I need to Thalen, Thalen like really annoyed holding to just yeah. stabbing her eyes out. Yeah. All right. Um, is anybody going to try casting any spells or detecting anything? Um, can you detect the the ghost around or anything um, from the skeleton? You, as you're looking around, you move towards the skeleton. <laughs> Nothing's there. It's a dead skeleton. It's just bones. Is there anything like malicious hanging off of it? Anything like connecting it to the ghost or? Nope. It's just very sad. Oh. So Lula wants to kind of run up and grab the note. And nope, Thalen is still holding her. She is not going anywhere near um, that shit. That she mean? she will struggle. Let's Good. Do a He's dex- a grown man. Let's do a dexterity roll. Fuck it. All right. Uh, would it be dex be strength? Because like it's he's trying to hold her back. Yeah, yeah it's a grapple. So be strength. Yeah. Let's uh, bitch, you got like a plus four strength. You gonna die. I, I've I've rolled a two and a four this session. Let's see how I do. <laughs> What'd you get, little lady? Well, I got a seven plus two. <laughs> cool, I got a thirteen plus four. You're staying here. <laughs> so, We're not going anywhere. Brady is gonna get off the her. bed. <laughs> so as that happens, it's once again very cartoonish. As you have little Tallulah trying to forward. Um, to no avail as Thelen picks her up and it's just like little wheels as she's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 not today little lady hey, what I'm just gonna say? approach the bed you're going to approach it very shakily he's going to approach it right. <clears throat> the big he's gonna try and investigate the scene a little bit he's gonna Mayrin is going to uh, I'll be very shakily uh, try to investigate the body. So, just just looking for anything out of the ordinary. Would a would an investigation check be in order for this? Mm, not really, cause no, not for this one. All you okay. see is, like I said before, the skeleton clutched tightly in her hand is a very old note and a tuning fork. Uh, uh he's gonna. <laughs> Shall I reach for it and take the note? You got it, big guy. Wait, how come he can do that? But I okay. Eh, he's not a loss. <laughs> we all trust you one hundred percent. Yeah, Someone yeah. Someone start notifying his loved one. All right. It's gonna. <laughs> you. Fuck the note. Please know I genuinely love Marin. Um, taking the note. You, you notice that the grip is still a bit tight, as if it was like a last hope of some sort. Oh Soon enough, with a little more of a tug, you get the note out. Would you but... read the note? Okay. Okay. I, I'm going to open up the note and read it after muttering to myself something about rigor mortis. <laughs> rigor mortis! <laughs> it's a rigor mortis, that's all I got for you. <laughs> all right, all right. When you what open the note, different languages. <laughs> when you open the note, um, a sense of hopelessness, oh shit, God. sorrow just seemed to fold over you as these were clearly last words. My love, oh, God. in the darkest pit in the center of this house, I will come to help you. Help. That. Well, everyone, uh, the note says that in the darkest pits of the center of the house, uh, I, I'm not sure who I is, will come to help you. It's this woman. I'm afraid we won't be getting much help. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of context clues. If the note oh, said gosh. she'll come to help, I'm assuming that other thing in her hand might be the signal. Brynja. Yeah. Go touch it. <laughs> Grab that tune and fork and bring it here, would you? Brynja just gets like a really big smile on her face and goes and grabs it. Uh, as soon as Brynja brings it to Thalen, 
He's going to make sure to hold Tallulah in the other hand like a toddler. She's reaching for it. Uh, yeah, he's like holding his other arm out extra and Tallulah's on the other side. No way are you fucking touching this thing. You're a <laughs> child. You're a child. Um, but he is going to take his metal hand, uh, his right hand, and lick the tuning fork so that it makes a resounding noise. Oh, okay. I thought you said lick it for a second. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, no. lick it too. I was like, he's gonna take he his to lick it. I read it in a book once. <laughs> he's going to take he's the tongue so implant on one of his fingers and just fucking lick the tuning fork. No, <laughs> he's so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> <laughs> By the right, way, these spike um, are great. All right, you said he's flicking it. Yes, he's gonna take uh, the finger on his metal arm and flick the tuning fork so that it makes a resounding. Uh, with an actual tuning fork. All right. Yeah. Once you hear that noise, it seems to echo in the tiny room. And you hear another gear shift, like a sort of like a lock has been unlocked. And you notice that there appears to be a little trap door that wasn't there before on the left wall. How big is it? It's big enough that you could crawl in. I'm claustrophobic. Not it. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. Tallulah? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I can only see this going excellent. <laughs> Time for a scavenger hunt. <laughs> She's really excited. She wants to finish this game. I, 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 I'm, just thinking, I'm just thinking of like a dog like being <laughs> held above a pool of water already like paddling. Yeah. As she gets really dropped, funny. just... <laughs> <laughs> he is still holding her. He's going to approach the trap door and he's going to set her on her feet, but grab her shoulders and make sure that she's looking at him. Tallulah, I'm going to need you to be real careful, but you're the only one who can fit in here and get out as fast as possible. You understand me? Yeah. So I'm going to need you to go in there, take a real quick look around. I'm going to count to ten and then I'm going to need you to come back. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Take a look around, and when I count to ten, you come rushing back out, and you tell everybody here exactly what you saw. Make sense? Yes, sir. Good girl. Now go ahead. I'm gonna start counting. Wait, how dark is it in there? That is a valid question. How dark very valid there? question. Do you see any light coming from the other end? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is very dark in the room. You will need some source sort of light. Uh, he's gonna look to one of the spellcasters and kind of be like, Lucky oh, for me, I have light. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, so oh no, uh, oh no, oh no. Here we go, bitches. Herself in there and casts a light. And real quick, I'm just gonna make sure that doesn't go wild. I don't know if that applies to cantrips, but I'm just doing it. From what I'm familiar with, it doesn't, but okay, it's good well, to double check. Yeah. If you'd like to use my bullseye lantern, you may. <laughs> So she casts light and she goes in. What does she see? All right. Once in the room, you notice it's larger than you would first think. There are two sides to it. One side has what appears to be a large lift and the other has a small chest. Uh, Thalen is going to start counting to 10. Tallulah's gonna. You, you said it was a chest. Tallulah's yep, a gonna chest. To, Tallulah's gonna run over to that chest. She wants to know. Why. Uh, Fuck! I left her unattended for two seconds. <laughs> no, I don't like that. It's a chest. It's the we're sending the chest. Please don't the chest. fucking let it Please be a mimic. Please don't be a mimic. Please don't let God. it be a mimic. <laughs> can she open the chest? Yes, she can. I'm like oh, shaking. I really don't want inside. her to be a mimic. And then the chest opens her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you can, do it to me. You can relax. You can relax. In the chest, there does it is, doesn't bite her that quickly. No, doesn't. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna kill anybody yet. Oh fuck! Oh. I hate that. <laughs> In the chest is. 575 silver and a longsword. 
Tallulah grabs both of those things. And she kind of plays it. around with the sword for a bit. <laughs> just just kind of waving it around like, I'm a knight! <laughs> the so- long sword has plus two damage to it. Oh, oh fuck! Shit. <laughs> I'm I'm scared that as she's playing around that she actually does. <laughs> Um I'm not gonna check that. I'm just gonna say she doesn't. <laughs> Alright. Eight, nine, ten. Coming. Uh so she goes back with the long sword and the you said it was two hundred and seventy five? Uh, five hundred and five hundred and seventy five silver. <laughs> Five hundred silver. Uh, she comes out, and she just is straight up like, just just like just punches out and has the sword right in her hand. No oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Could have almost killed someone. <laughs> Could have poked my damn eye out. Little girl, may I see that sword? She she trots up to Mira and just like gives it to him. Yes. Please tell me she gives it to him blade first. <laughs> <laughs> she probably does. Oh, she hell probably yeah. would. It's going to uh, very gently take the sword away, as though, you know, it was someone receiving a gift. Mm. It's going to examine it. It's going to hold it a little bit. Maybe feel sort of like the balance and everything. He looks around. Uh, this is mine now. I'm selling it. <laughs> Uh, hold on over there. Hold on a minute there, book one. You might have a bit of opposition. Finders keepers. It's very, well, I mean, I suppose the, the, what use have you of it, Tallulah? Like, is this a weapon of choice for you? Oh, I think it could be fun to learn. And I'd be happy to teach her. Uh, Pardon? Let's go sorcerer with a sword. Give her a sword. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> you know, Tulula, they are right. The finders, keepers, here you go. And I, uh, I, I hold it out for them again. That makes you the loser. <laughs> We've been. Tulula Listen. eagerly takes it again. Uh, Thalen's gonna take a quick look at Marin and kind of like nod, like as a thank you. Marin's gonna. Go through a somewhat nervous little laugh and a, a haphazard wave. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely gonna teach Tallulah how to fucking. Def- <laughs> he's proficient in swords, so let's Heck. fucking do it. Heck yeah! All right, like and that. are you going to tell them what else you saw in the room? <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Thalen's yeah. gonna ask, "What'd you see in there?" Oh, um, I I got that from a chest. And that was kind of it. <laughs> Nothing else in that room. <laughs> well, not that I could see. Do I have to go back in there and check myself? I don't think anybody wants me to get stuck in that room. Do you not believe? Uh, hold on now. I-, I think I might be able to uh, insert myself into that uh, trap door we found. Yeah, there. Phelan just kind of like groans. He's like, ow, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not believe? Uh, is she? Can can Brynia tell if she's lying or not? Yeah. I would also like to make an insight check. Yes, actually, by all means, make an insight check. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh yeah, these yo the, the dice are on my side today. Yeah, I'm rolling really the nice. Dice tonight. are against me today. I got an 18 plus five to insight, oh, nice. so oh, 23. Yeah. I also got a 23. Because I have it plus five as well. Game. If I could fist bump you right now, Haley, I fucking yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, you both notice that Tallulah is twitching slightly. Slightly, she's not looking either of you in the eye, so you know there's something else in that room. Tallulah, oh little lady, I'm about to go in. Anything you want to confess before I take a step through the door? I want you to be honest with us. Go in once. I got a bit of silver from it. A little Going bit of silver? Going twice. Yeah. Nothing else? Not that I can remember, no. 
<laughs> and Slim gets down on his knees and his little 120 pound ass starts army crawling <laughs> through the door. If, if she gets the sword, can I have the silver? We'll divvy it up. So, All right. I'm fair. All right, Slim, are you in the room now? Yeah, I, I crawl I crawl through the little door and I... All right. A little, a little bit of light with the presentation. Okay, I, I, I was about to say, he doesn't have a lot. <laughs> In the room, you see, in the far corner, there is a rather large lift, and you can see- Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Sorry, right, a rather large what? You, you cut out there for me. Lift. Kind of like an elevator. A lift, okay. Yeah. You can tell that it goes farther down into the house, and it's enough- I did- And it's large enough to fit your party. I did uh. intend to have Tallulah lie. <laughs> J just being honest, I totally forgot you said the lift. <laughs> so, uh, hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got yourself um, a new direction to follow. What'd you find in there? Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is, but it appears to be some sort of device that can either ascend or descend our group as need be. I'm just gonna say that Tallulah didn't recognize it as a thing and just thought it was Dayquil since he didn't deem it as important. Worm. Uh, cool. Phelan's gonna go stand next to the trapdoor and kind of wave his hand. After you. And he's gonna look at Mayrin. Tallulah <laughs> squirms in. <laughs> Brittany. All right, come on, everyone through the small hole. Um, y yeah, sure, I can. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Someone get that pretty boy in the corner through here, too. He's pretty really claustrophobic. I just, I'm just not used to being, you know, inside for uh, this long, and, um... Let's hope it'll I be can do it, I can do it, it's fine, it's fine. And she goes got downstairs. It. You got it, girl. Mm. Well... Aaron, Yukio, let's go. We ain't got time to waste. Yukio will follow. Yukio will follow. Alright, so I guess one by one we all get our way through the, the small yep. door. I Thalen think the only one who would have any difficulty. Yeah, I think the only one who would have any difficulty would be Thalen, but that's it. Yeah, Thalen's like really struggling to get through here because <laughs> he's kind of a bulky dude and he's like, <laughs> So now that Tallulah kind of recognizes that that's an actual thing and not just there for decor, she runs up to it. <laughs> oh, of course. As uh, usual. Hey, hey, little one, remember our agreement. What happens when you see something you want to run towards? Wait for approval. And who are you asking? You or you. He kind of holds out his, uh, some kind of holds out his hand towards Tallulah as like to grab her hand. Now let's now let's go to get. <laughs> Can you turn your mic up a little more, Tallulah? Uh, yes. Sorry. It's good. Ah. All right, now. Well, I think there's only one direction to go from here. Is that better? Yes. Everyone aboard the planks. Yeah, Thalen steps on. He's gonna step into like the center of the elevator to like make sure that it stays balanced. So, like, his weight is not putting off on one side or another because he's kind of like a 220-pound dude. <laughs> All right, Come stepping on. on, you hear a slight creak, but that's due to old age. So far, it seems pretty safe. Sorry, I was <laughs> hailed for a moment. I apologize. Are you good, fam? Uh, Brynja, when we all get in the lift, Brynja wants to, like, kind of get close to Tallulah and just, like, whisper in her ear and just be like, I just want to know how much, how much, like, shiny thing you got. How much shiny? <laughs> just that, that's all I want to know. It's for your real estate. <laughs> I got Child, there didn't happen to be any books in that chest, were there? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like whispering. You, caught, you, you caught us whispering and we both look up at the same time. No? Okay. That's I, fine. I can't count as high as, like, <laughs> I, I mean, I can only count to like, two, like twelve. Comes after twelve. I don't know. Uh, Thirteen. Are we ready to get going? 
You know, Our, it's not that oh, hard. Oh, you guys are live. listening? <laughs> Just hit the button. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good question. Um, I'm going to roll an investigation check. How the heck does this thing work? <laughs> <laughs> there is a lever. It's rather obvious where it is as well. It's right in the front where you step on. I, 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 kind, of look at, I kind of look at the lever. Hey, Tallulah. Yeah? Go pull the stick. <laughs> Tallulah goes and pulls the stick. I was about to say, Thalen kind of like, as a little joking thing to kind of get along with her, pull the lever, Tilly. <laughs> Wrong lever! Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you, Ed! <laughs> she, she, she goes and pulls the lever. All right, as she pulls it down, it takes a few tries, but you suddenly feel a jerk as the, as the, um... Well, yeah, Thalen's right behind me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> you feel a Nobody slight... Ask you. you feel a slight jerk as it starts to lower. And... I didn't expect it to go down, honestly. <laughs> it's like that for several minutes. Until finally it stops. And you find yourselves... In hey, yo. Who has that there tuning fork that we found in the in little old lady over there? That would be Miss Brynja. Oh, yeah, I do. It's right here. Um, does anyone need it? And she goes, ding, on the wall. And uh, the last time you did that, a door opened up. The time before that, you pulled something and a door opened up. Let's try not open up any more doors. A mysterious laugh. Ding. Door wizard! Um, did you say you already clicked it, flicked it, and it dinged? Yeah, I flicked it on the wall. Oh, no. um, I told, that's what happened. As, as that happens, a door in front of you appears. Whoa, what? Wait, what, what? What appears? A door. <laughs> more doors. More doors. <laughs> Motherfucker. As we're going down. Walk into Mordor. No, the, the... <laughs> hold on, hold on. It finally, it officially stopped on on a, the last level of the house, wherever that is. And as you flicked on the little tuning fork, a door appeared. Sorry, say that again, because you cut out. Oh, sorry. You're on the last level, you're on what appears to be the very last level of this house. And mm -hmm. as you flicked on the tuning fork, another door appeared. Uh -oh. um, this is exactly what I'm <laughs> Uh, okay. Like secret agents finding <laughs> secret passageways. I didn't know that I knew magic, but I guess I know magic. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Say. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Say, I didn't think about this, but I, when I'm, because of my, my background as an archaeologist, or rather Mayron's background as an archaeologist, he can use this sort of historical knowledge to determine a building's uh, purpose and their builders. Can I do that with this place? If it, it, This is typically of dungeons, so I don't know if this would apply here or not. That's kind of up to you. But yes, can I tell yeah. anything about the construction of this place that would uh, allude to that kind of stuff? Yeah. Um... You can tell that where you're at now, it was meant as a place of protection. And you can tell that it was used quite often at some point. I'm going to keep that information to myself. All right. Uh, Do you, who would like to open the door? Delilah! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Slim's already like him over hand. It is out of his control. <laughs> All right. How about we do it together? Since you're so keen on touching everything. Yeah. All right. Let's do he's, it. he's gonna wait for her to put her hand on the door and top. He's gonna put her uh, his head over top and gently push open the door. All right. And then immediately yank her back out of the. <laughs> The door opens with another creak, and you notice that inside the room, once again, it's very dark, and there appears to be only one light at the very end of the room. Oh, little lady. 
Tallulah like casts light. Oh, careful. Woohoo! You notice in the light. Lantern. You notice in the light is a lone figure hunched over a table, covered in books and odd equipment. As, in the future. <laughs> as soon as you as soon as you enter, the room lights up with like a snap of a finger. And the old figure looks up at you in a frantic, Oh shit. Oh god, it's alive. A, a frantic look in his eye and he says, "Who are you?" How did you get in? I put that barrier up to stop him and all his little minions. You won't stop me, though. No one can. I'll help my wife. Even after all he did, I'll make sure he can't hurt us anymore. Whoa, whoa uh, there, old timer. Oh. Hey, 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 Phelan's no already got his crossbow out and he's approaching very carefully. L uh, ladies, gentlemen, is no need for a fuss. Oh, um, shut up, you old bastard. You. The old man doesn't seem to be listening, though. You notice a dark green energy starts to build up around him before it shoots off. Who is it? I um, don't like that. I would like to try and throw my trench coat back and cover as many people from this energy as much as possible Instinct. and take the brunt of it myself. Then roll Instinct a dexterity saving throw. Oh, wait, no, roll a con okay, okay. constitution saving throw. Me roll a constitution? Yes. Cool. Uh, it's telling me that that's acid. Good thing I have a good constitution. Um, it is a 12. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> you take um, D4 of necrotic damage. Oh fuck! And you feel... How much was it? I, I feel what? Uh, you feel a weakness in your muscles. Oh, and you're only able to deal half damage until the end. Oh, of son of a bitch! And you can make a Constitution saving throw to end the spell. Okay. Uh, does this count as rolling for initiative? Yes. Yeah. All right, yes. Go. Oh god. Okay. This All is right, what I'm getting. Game, but one and a half, I guess. Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, immediately Thalen just kind of like crumples a little bit, but. He does manage to stand back up despite his weakened state. Um, right. <laughs> that is a dirty 20. I got oh, a 13. All right. Got a 13. 15. Why couldn't you have rolled well when you needed to dodge? <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Yukio, what's your roll? 15. All right. Brittany got 21. Oh, okay. 21. I wonder who's going Ooh. first. All right, that's my third. It's my third 21 of the night. Hell yeah. Well, then, yeah. look at you, Brynja, what would you yeah. like 21. to do? How far is the entity from us at this moment? At this moment? Let's see. Thalen, the closest one to him, and all of you are currently behind Thalen and being shielded mm -hmm. by him. So this figure is... a good bit away you would have to take um at least three steps to get towards him three steps so that would be like god uh okay brini is gonna go she's gonna run towards it okay and then uh try and get around him or them him it's a him it's an old man it's a him and then she's gonna put her stick like kind of wedge. I want to do like a grapple check if I can, but like take the sti her her quarter staff and push him against her chest, holding him between the stick and herself to like mm -hmm. restrain him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so like her her chest against his back, her arms yeah. okay, in yeah. front of him with the stick pulling back. Okay. Roll for it and. Would I be rolling to, to to avoid it then? It would be yeah. yeah. Tested strength. It'd be a yeah. It'd be a grapple check. All right. So strength versus strength. Yeah. All right. Uh, strength roll. versus no. Uh, it's athletics versus either athletics or acrobatics. On your side is athletics or acrobatics. Mine is athletics. Okay, okay. I won't. 
I don't know if you guys heard that, but my mom just came in and was like, I got your food. Just like <laughs> straight up opened the door, like right close to the mic. Worm. <laughs> All right, then. Go ahead and roll. I'll roll two. It's a 16 for my athletics. And mine is... <laughs> so you get to choose between athletics or acrobatics. Um, I'll roll for acrobatics. Great. Here we go. And I roll... A 12. Cool. So he's considered grappled. Yep, he is very much grappled. Um, and he's fighting against you, trying to get out. You can... Being this close, you can just feel this overwhelming aura of sorrow and pain he's sobbing as he pulls against you crying out let me go let me go after him please uh she's as her interaction is just gonna go uh i'm so i'm sorry i didn't i'm not i don't want to hurt you oh and that's it that's my turn all right and felon you're next no Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> cool. What would uh, you I guess I'm just gonna. What happened? What would oh you yes. Like? I want to make, make a con save to try and fucking not be a piss baby anymore. <laughs> Go for it. There's the fucking net twenty when I need it, bitch. Yes. Woo! Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> That, That's the energy that I like good. to hear. Oh my. <laughs> my audio is clipping so bad. <laughs> that's right. that's a good sound. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good sound. No, it's not. Uh, in a sudden, I would. Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, go. In a sudden, like, burst of adrenaline, sort of like you get your second win, you feel your muscles sort of go back to their original state. You feel as if you've gotten a breath of fresh air. Dope. Uh, Phelan's just gonna crack the knuckles on one of his hands, and then move to crack his neck. That wasn't nice. And he's gonna use his second win, speaking of. Uh, oh, never mind. Just kidding. Uh, no, he's just gonna start walking towards the fucking dude with, like, crossbow ready and fist clenched. Okay. That's my turn. Alright. He's looking up at you with crazed eyes, just chanting the same thing. Let me go after him. Let me go after him. Cool. I'm going to punch him. Like, when it's my turn again. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Uh, I have a 15. So uh, me? I, yeah, I believe it was you. I got a, uh, what was I think I got a 13. I got okay. a 13 as well. I got a 15. Uh, oh, so it's both me and you. You first. You sure? Yep. Such a gentleman. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. No um, God Mayron. Oh, no goddamn cool. <laughs> this <is> really <laughs> fucking cool. <clears throat> Mayron is going to um, reach down into his pack and pull out his crystal ball. Okay. And using his uh, Githzerai psionics, uh, he is going to begin levitating in a couple inches off of his hand. This is, you know, typically how he holds. Uh, the the uh, the sort of ball in front. He's going to uh, maneuver so that he has a clear sight line on the gun, uh, and he's going to uh, <clears throat> he's going to look at the guy, uh, and as he casts Eldritch Blast, uh, causing you know a sort of arc of Eldritch energy to fly from the crystal ball towards the gun. He says, this is my party, and I will not have such insulin. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to just fire off an Eldritch Blast at the guy. Phelan pops a little bit of a boner. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. A, a, a little micro bit. chode, if you would. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's not go that far. <laughs> he just, like, so that, pops a little bit of a boner. It's just a ranged spell attack. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, yes! Oh God! <laughs> they finally have a seventeen, up, huh? baby. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what I roll. Let's go, baby! <laughs> oh my God! Okay, and he rolled a seventeen. Fuck! 
All right, that's cool. That's a five. Oh, fuck you. He dead already. <laughs> click, click, <laughs> blow. Kill this guy. We need information. Nah, fuck him. <laughs> he has books. I want the books. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, where Thalen has a small chub on for the bloodlust for books. <laughs> this one has a full. Is full this of is my library now. <laughs> <laughs> this man is full masked over literature. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Neko's so, laughing and it's beautiful. Okay, if we're going by this, this would, this would, uh, yeah. this would hit, right? Yes, it will definitely hit him. Okay, so four plus my <coughs> spell modifier, which would be just a moment. Sorry. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know I fucking optimized this guy for that. Do it to That's, me. Uh, that is ten damage. Oh wow. Click like right. blow. Force damage. Whack. Um, as the spell hits him, you can just see, you hear his, an agonizing scream of pain. And he just goes very limp in Brynja's arms. But he's still moving. He's still alive. He's not done yet. And he's just panting heavily, looking up at you. Still chanting the same thing. Let me, at me? after him. He's saying that to me? Just in general, he's in like general. Okay. pretty okay. much screaming it. He was saying that directly to me and I was about to shit myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let, oh, me yeah. Let me at him! Let me at him! Bitch, you better hold me back! Seeing him, seeing him sort of slump down and everything, you know. <laughs> Whoa. There's not really much more I can do. Hmm. So, um, after seeing the bolt connect and watching this guy's hmm. figure sort of uh, start to go limp, I turn to the uh, the group a little bit. Go on, finish the dark job. We have to keep ourselves safe above all. And uh, that's my turn. Yukio. Um, out of character. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a bit more civil than that. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, he did the mash. He <laughs> did the monster, Look at the monster mash. mash. The monster mash. <laughs> Who has the uh that paper? Merit. Merit, Merit has it. Oh yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta yikes. get away from his, yikes, his, big his yikes. Roy driven ass. Big big yikes. <laughs> Where are my books? I need <laughs> my books. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know Merit was just two goblins. <laughs> I I crave literature. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Yukio, what would you like to do? I will have scripture. Um, Yukio will walk over to the old man and kind of just kneel in front of him and be like, We're here to help. In any way possible. We found a woman, well, now deceased woman in bed. Finally! And a tuning fork. We really are here to help. When he... I'm sorry for, uh, my friend's outburst, but he's a little, a little crazy right now. Kill him! <laughs> Take out your sword to finish the job! Um, when the old man hears you speak of the woman and the tuning fork, he tenses up and it looks as if tears are coming to his eyes and they just start falling. He starts trembling and it starts to seem as if he's disappearing. Wait. Is there anything you can tell us about this man that you've been chasing after all these years? He's... He doesn't seem to hear what you're saying. He's lost in his head. But before he completely disappears, these words fall from his lips. I failed my love. He has my... And then he's gone. I knew it. Phelan immediately, like, takes a couple steps back and starts heading towards the elevator. He looks very tense. Very tense all of a sudden. And he just starts walking back towards the elevator. Well, as you're doing this, though, you do notice that a coffin 
is put off in the corner. Would you like to go see what's in it? Uh-oh. Phelan's not looking at it. Y'all can y'all can go at it. He is just walking back to the elevator and he's saying a damn thing. <laughs> Slim is like, hey, Marin, I think the rest of it might be over there. And he points to the coffin. Marin, after hearing that, sort of does a double take towards the coffin. He looks down at the crystal ball and, and levitates it right in front of his face. And uh, he seems to start to concentrate into it a little bit, like, like really intensely. Come on. Where did he go? We're in danger here. I, I, I think he's in a box. Everyone stand back. <laughs> Marin's going to, you know, he's, he's starting to shake. He was, he was, he was surprisingly confident prior, but he's starting to shake now. And he sort of jolts his hands up and grabs the ball and clutches it to his chest as he starts to approach the car. Watch my back. Don't. Don't let me get hurt. Oh, I'm, I'm watching your rear end. Perfectly good from back here. <laughs> uh, so is, is the coffin like closed? Is the lid over? It's closed. You need to open it. Mayrun will try to do so. And as he opens it, inside it contains 355 gold and a mace with plus one damage. Huh. Marin's going to look at all of this for a second. He's going to look back to the party. There's nothing in here. Nothing of value. I'm going to do a little sleight of hand to try and snag the gold. Um, roll for sleight of hand. Come on. Do me good, son. Ah, oh, shit, it's a five. <laughs> um. Um, all right, well, it looks so like everything's clear. <clears throat> um, as, um, as Mayron tries to stuff the gold, a loud clanging noise as it falls out of his pockets. <clears throat> Yuki will walk over and uh, Put his hand on his shoulder and squeeze just a bit and be like, what's this? <laughs> Slim comes to the other side. Yes, sir. Puts his arm on his shoulder. Yeah, I am most curious about what you have procured from this box. There's a mace and a, a little bit of, of gold. I didn't really take the time to count how much. Well, it seems like there's less of it now in the box and more of it in your pockets. Uh, you gonna share there, Spiky boy? Uh, he's going to sort of try and peel himself away from these two. Go ahead, help yourself. Um, I apologize for my uh, rambunctious attitude. I I don't take well to threats of danger, even perceived ones at that. And while this lovely discussion is going on, Brynja. Yes? You notice that mark from earlier that made you feel all cold and freezing? has disappeared, and you're starting to feel warmth back into your body. Okay. Um, Brainia's just staring at his corpse. Uh, Tallulah... T- Tallulah has her sword kind of, like, dragging on the ground. Oh. Uh, she, 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 you see, she seemed a little upset. And she just, she's just kind of standing there, sta- staring at the ground. It's not how you play hide and <laughs> Um, she wasn't a fan of the fight. <laughs> if I would have gone a little bit sooner, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, out of character. Uh, I was going to go ahead and cover to lose eyes. Out of like, <laughs> if, if I were to, if I had a chance to go before, the, like, I would be like, hey, Tulu, look. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, as he's getting stabbed. <laughs> Dude, S- Slim and Thalen are the good cop, bad cop pair. They are my dads. They're my dads. <laughs> woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> I don't know. Slim seems to be getting a pretty big crush on Yukio with his cool guy act. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. I think everybody is. <laughs> worm! Big worm! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the man is just so cool. It's the, it's the bass in his voice. 
I, I mean, I think I am. Not Tallulah, but me. <laughs> Worm. <laughs> like, like, I'm the <laughs> No, that is the mood. Um, real quick, how close are we to the end? Of uh, the session? Yes. Um, we can end it here. I was gonna... Okay, yeah. Because I do have to leave. I have to pick up friends from the airport and I was supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, We'll end it as you all are heading back to the lift to finally leave the manor. Uh, Brittany's gonna stay back just a little bit just so you know. To, like... She's really affected by the corpse. Mm. Um, Just before I go, Thalen is... His, his bandana's up, his hat is down. He's trying to avoid any eye contact. He is not speaking, uh, you know, telepathically like he does because he's fucking mute. Um, but you hear absolutely nothing but the clanging of metal. He's tapping his fingers together. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Tallulah's sadly dr- is is just, just keeping her eyes on the floor, dragging her sword behind her, just like really upset at everything that she just watched as she goes back to the lift. Mm. I'm, right. I, I think Yugi and I are just still looking at Marin like, the fuck you doing, bitch? <laughs> uh, I have stopped my recording. Uh, I will save it, export it, and send it to you when I get from the airport. Uh, but I do have to leave now. This session was very much fun. I enjoyed it, and I look forward to it in the next one. All right. Nice All right. See you, Jack. All right. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Okay, before before all recordings stop, I need to say this to I need everyone to hear this so it doesn't go unappreciated. I put it in, I put it in the text channel, but I still want to say it just to make sure that it gets the recognition it deserves. I feel like if Mayrin go, goes up to someone that refuses to give him any any literature, he he'd say something like, "You're not giving me my books. Well, then you must be a raven." Because you will be never more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mayron like, is but untish. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a direct quote. <laughs> He's not really Mayron's not facing the other two. He doesn't exactly seem happy at this moment in time. He he has the crystal ball still clutched to his chest and everything, and he's shaking pretty hard. Uh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! How about why don't you round up the the bounty from here, and once we get outside, we can evenly partition it amongst all the per- all of the uh, participants in this little excursion of ours. No problem. I think I trust you at this moment more than our, might I say, quite intelligent, but roaring monster. Slim, stop. How much gold was it? Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> I said, Slim, stop flirting with Yukio. <laughs> I have no idea what it is you're referring to. <laughs> I, I, sh- I, sh- I ship Slimkio. Slimio. <laughs> Slimio. No. <laughs> Slickio. Slickio. All right, then. I believe that covers it. Yeah. All, All right. right, I am ending my recording in three, two, one. That's not, That's not the end button. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the record button again. The fake news.